We have a voicemail number. That number is 219 to David P. Tragically, here is a voicemail, one of many, one of many about yesterday's audio issues. Take a listen to this. Hey, David, it's Angie in Wisconsin. I was just curious if anybody else has commented on your audio having some static in it lately. Uh, I noticed it last week, thought maybe it was just I was listening to it in my car and sometimes when my phone is plugged into my car, it causes issues. But listening to it at home today, it's still happening. So listen, we feel terribly about the, the audio static, but I got some nasty, nasty emails and about eight people, I think it was canceled their paid memberships because we had some interference on the show on Friday and Monday. Let me tell you what happened. Uh, we recently switched cameras. The new camera is way better. The old camera, my mic plugged into the camera. The new camera doesn't have that ability. So the mic goes directly to the computer in order to get the sound from my microphone into the computer. I got a USB audio hub. It's a device. You plug in a mic and then you plug the device into your computer. Uh, we started hearing the uh, interference. I looked at is it what we call clipping? Is the mic level too loud? I changed voice processors. I got all new cables. I even tested a different microphone and it all continued. And because these things took a little while to do this, the, the interference continued for several days. Ultimately, the problem was very obscure settings in our computer. USB devices like our USB audio hub have different power management settings. And by default, when you plug in a new USB device, the computer will assess does this device need full power right now or can I put it into a sort of reduced power state? When you are actively speaking into a microphone, you need the device on full power all the time. So after running all around new voice processor, different microphone, different cables, chaos, thousands of emails pouring in. OK. All I needed to do was change the power settings on the USB card and change the power settings on the USB audio hub. And all is now good. So we fixed it. We apologize. It was an extremely stressful couple of days trying to figure this out. Believe me, we know you can't have that if you're doing a professional show. We know that, which is why we immediately bought replacements for everything. But it was just a two click solution. So Baruch Hashem, we have solved it. Thank you for everyone's understanding and for the nasty emails that came in. Very nasty. I don't appreciate them. We have a great bonus show for you today. We will talk about the first category four storm ever in June. What does that say? Number two, scientists who study noise pollution say we need regulation. I actually have a lot to say about this. And thirdly, we will discuss Louisiana's new surgical castration law. Wow. Bonkers, bonkers stuff. All of that and more. On the bonus show. Oh, the bonus show where you want to make money, but everybody else that makes money to fund themselves is bad. I will see you then, and I will be back here tomorrow.